Thank you for, for being here, allowing me to speak with you. I'm going to share a bit of perspective on secure digital ter transformation using uh, DevSecOps principles. Uh, my company is CloudBees. We have a booth in uh, the other building, so feel free to come on by and, and hear somebody more articulate. Uh, so military innovation right now really is being driven by emerging IT. Uh, you see things like software, data, AI. These are all shaping military advantage uh, by delivering insights and capabilities to uh, end users and tacticians in, in multiple domains. And software really is the linchpin there. Uh, software factories are a key part of digital transformation. You know, when they're set up and run well, they focus intently on consistently serving up value to stakeholders, however value is defined. And embedded within those successful software factories are deployment pipelines. And they maximize the value of their output. So fundamental requirement to accomplishing that goal is automation. It helps connect processes and tools and people into high functioning pipelines, uh, delivering software that's worthy of deployment. But our ability to deliver software through deployment pipelines has changed over time, has evolved. The emergence of, of things like microservices and containers reflects this dynamic modern landscape. So how to transform smartly and confidently in a world of increasing complexity and change, but also one that demands that you improve and, and, um, and simplify the customer experience. We welcome change, uh, but we need uh, DevSecOps principles to make sure that change happens in safe and professional ways. Uh, the CNCF defines a so software supply chain as the process from writing to distributing software. Uh, the uh, reference architecture puts special emphasis on code provenance and build activities versus code scanning and uh, signing since the downstream security relies on, on provenance and validating sources. Uh, software factories can and should use automation to build trust into their software delivery. Um, automated evidence collection provides insights that are crucial for, for assessment and authorization decisions. Now, GitOps is an interesting software factory strategy. It's rooted in the principle that Git is the source of truth and uh, other things as well. <laughs> Back to supply chain security. Uh, you've got multiple components in software, open source and proprietary. That's, that adds complexity to the supply chain. So, so software factories should have audit-ready pipelines that provide evidence for the people that need it of composition and quality and security attributes. Uh, a trusted supply chain ensures that secure and compliant and audit-ready software is delivered. Um, it enables you to assemble an SBOM and gather other data that, that you need. So today's landscape is complex. Right? It's a lot to manage. So again, the power of automation lies in eliminating redundant and error-prone manual tasks and automatically gathering the evidence that you need to be confident in your value streams. Uh, CloudBees conducted a survey uh, on the concerns around the supply chain. And we found that executives really want automation to enforce security and compliance throughout that DevSecOps lifecycle, starting with their CI processes and defined repeatable pipelines. Um, this approach is embedded in, in the CloudBees platform, a part of which you see here. Uh, <clears throat> this is a, a, we're giving a comprehensive view of assets and applications, services, and security controls that helps accelerate the uh, authorization decisions on, on, um, on systems. Release orchestration is really an unsung uh, but vital discipline in software delivery. So it really shepherds the entire deployment journey uh, in a re reliable and repeatable way to ensure software worthiness. You really cannot achieve the governance benefits of DevSecOps in the absence of release orchestration, especially as programs grow. So here we, we're automating and orchestrating complex software releases with uh, pre-approved release templates and customized approval gates. This is essential for modern software delivery. Uh, now don't de neglect metrics and value stream management. After all, value is really the desired output of your delivery pipelines. Take, for example, uh, edge systems, uh, uh, pipelines that are deploying uh, space systems to the edge. It's big for national security. Uh, it, it's very complex. It, it, it involves quite a bit, and you need automation and orchestration to manage it all. Um, Companies failing to embrace DevSecOps principles will get obliterated in this age of digital transformation. Fortunately, we know that, that strategies like data, GitOps and the supply, uh, secure software supply chain and automatic release orchestration and metrics and value stream management are ways to turn those challenges into strengths. And with that, I put down my notes and thank you very much for your time.